Listen, I'm no party pooper. Yeah, I've made about 700 videos talking about what's pissing me off, but that's only one emotion that I consist of. I'm generally a happy and fun guy. So of course, I wanna party and dance with little John. I'm a millennial. I'm an elderly millennial, but yeah, I wanna get low and shake it like a salt shaker, and I still will any day of the week. I'll need a few days rest after that, but yes, of course, I want to do that, so I get it. I understand what is happening at the DNC. I understand the vibes. I do not understand what Chuck Schumer is doing. And I think that the convergence of politics and celebrity and entertainment culture is not healthy for society. I also don't think that worshiping politicians is good for anyone. But I get wanting to experience joy, and I think that regular people should experience joy whenever they can, even when awful shit is happening in the world, because I'll tell you what, awful shit is always happening. It's just a little disconcerting when politicians, government officials, try to force that joy, you know? Especially when those politicians from both political parties, even the one having all the fucking fun and dancing around, you know, the one in charge of the executive office right now, are making me complicit in genocide. It's creating this real disconnect, like a deep chasm in the middle of my brain and my heart, because I really want to crush Donald Trump and MAGA and all the values and beliefs and priorities that come with it. I think that's really important. At the same time, I also think that genocide is about as bad as it gets. No, I really thought we all learned that a long time ago. Maybe some of us think it only happens in the past, but it's happening right now. A genocide in Gaza, and we are complicit. And if we can't call out both political parties, even the one that we belong to or will more than likely vote for, when they are providing weapons and political cover for a genocide, then what the hell are we doing here? This is the worst moral crisis of my life, and I am old as fuck. I have seen some shit. This is the worst. We need action, not whatever this is. And not rhetoric. I keep hearing, oh, we're working tirelessly towards a ceasefire. Really? Then stop providing the fire. Cease. If the progressive party, the liberal party of our two-party government system can't do any better than what they've been doing for the past 10 months when it comes to genocide, then there's no hope for any of us. Turn down for that, little John. Turn down for that.